Well, first off, hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is Jim with Neuro Street Trading Academy, and uh, we are excited to bring you our friends at COT Base. They have some really, really great technology in the uh, trading space. There's a lot of different ways that you can use it. Uh, pretty some some really sophisticated stuff that uh, more importantly, uh, it actually works. And and so you can see just even looking at my screen here, there's a couple signals which produce some really great responses. And so we'll uh, we'll let the the powers of uh, COT base go over more details on on how it works and uh, why it works more importantly, and how you can use it to improve your trading and trading decisions. So uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring my friends in here. Uh, we've got Thomas and Balance with us here on the uh, webinar they're going to be hosting today. And uh, Thomas, are you there? Hey, Jim, I'm here. Excellent. Excellent. Well, welcome and and thanks for joining us here at Neuro Street. Uh, I guess at this point, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop my screen share and let you share your screen, and uh, we can we can look at getting started here. Sounds perfect. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. And uh, Thomas, I'll let you take it away. Folks, if you have questions, feel free to ask throughout. Uh, we will be answering questions here. Uh, and we are, of course, recording the event. So we'll get you the recording as well. I'm here as well if you need anything. So I'll be kind of monitoring the chat as well. But um, but yeah, I'll let uh, Thomas take it away. Thanks. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Yeah, first of all, uh, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Thomas Lucas. And I'm here with Balin Kola, my good friend, uh, secondary school classmate. And ever since uh, uh, 23 years ago, we've been kind of trading and working together. Um, my apologies, uh, we don't do too many webinars. So this is quite a unique opportunity for us as well uh, to talk a little bit about ourselves and what we do here at cotbase.com. Uh, before I jump in, uh, just uh, we have this disclaimer here. Let me stay here for a second and then we'll move on. Okay, so a little bit about our background. Um, so as I said, we started trading and investing 23 years ago. We used to uh, go to the same secondary school and uh, uh, pretty much after a couple of years, we found out about the Commitments of Traders Report, a wonderful tool, wonderful information that CFTC publishes and uh, started analyzing it and, and, you know, reading a bunch of books and, and getting into how we can best use this knowledge uh, about what traders are doing in our own investing uh, and trading. And um, very soon we came up with a couple of good Excel sheets. Uh, actually, it's, it's a uh, uh, thanks to Balint, who's uh, pretty strong in Excel and uh, produced these uh, uh, these little tables that you can see on the screen. Uh, but as you can imagine, these tables were necessarily as fast as we wanted them to be. So after a couple of years, we figured, you know what, we should start in putting together a very solid system uh, so we can, you know, go through all the markets uh, faster and and try to find those opportunities uh, that the COT report can uh, show us. So, uh, you know, about 12 years ago, we we went on this path and soon after we produced uh, our first system and eventually realized that it's a huge help for us. Um, uh, we pretty much caught uh, the, uh, the top in, in crude oil in the 08-09 recession, which I think is one of our um, nicest trades uh, back in the day. And honestly, we, we were measuring stress levels uh, in the market for quite some time. Uh, and there's a bunch of other examples too. The, the reason uh, we, we love this data is because it's, um, you're going to see in a, in a couple of moments, it is not derived from price. Most of the indicators traders find is all derived from price, whereas the commitments of traders report is actually fundamental data. Um, I'm sure there may be some some of you there who have not heard about commitments or traders. So just for you, a brief little breakdown of what it is. Uh, this webinar, of course, is not going to be focused on the classic COT analysis. But in order for you to understand the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal, the topic of our webinar, 
I feel it's necessary for us to talk a little bit about what the Commitments of Traders is. So COT stands for Commitments of Traders, and it breaks down the open interest uh, into main categories. We have uh, commercials, and uh, obviously they're there to hedge their, uh, their normal business activities. They're not necessarily profiting off uh, market movements, but rather uh, using futures for hedging purposes. And on the other side, we've got large speculators and we've got the small speculators. So these are the main categories of commitments of traders. Now, as I said, the huge value in this is that we get an understanding of what you know, market participants are doing. So throughout the years, one of our dreams with Bali was to come up with an indicator uh, that brings this highly valuable tool uh, into the shorter time frame. Let's not forget, uh, I may not have mentioned this, but uh, the Commitments of Traders Report is a weekly data that uh, is published by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Uh, and as being a, a weekly data, obviously does not necessarily benefit in the shorter time frame. So by succeeding in uh, creating the intraday uh, indicator, I stands for intraday, um, we, we believe that we came as close as possible to realizing this wonderful tool in everyday trading. I should point out that the ICOT intraday indicator is not data uh, from CFTC. It's not a breakdown of open interest. Uh, it's basically the, you know, it's, it's what we put together after many years of research and development. Um, we are very, very proud of this indicator. Uh, I should point out that the, this indicator, the ICOT intraday indicator, is the basic indicator. Today, we're going to be um, showing you what the after signal, our enhancement to the indicator, can bring to the table. So let's move on. Uh, a little bit about the indicator first. Uh, this uh, indicator, uh, as you can see, uh, has these. Uh, uh, indicator underneath the price chart. And before I jump there, uh, I'd like to uh, show you um, what, how the system, the web-based web, web -based system, the classic COT uh, charts are gonna look, uh, because I really wanna give you kind of the foundation for today's webinar to really grasp where we are coming from. There is a history, there's an evolution. And in order to, to realize and appreciate the value of this wonderful indicator, one must have to understand a little bit about the background, what we are basing it on. Okay, so what we have here, this is our, our premium service, and it focuses on the commitments of the traders report. Again, I'm not going to go into uh, too much detail. There's different report types, there's a lot of data types, and there's so much to analyze, really, just we can spend hours here. Uh, I just want to show you the essence. Uh, this is the Australian dollar. I just really didn't even do much. I just uh, uh, put uh, all the markets that you can uh, find and uh, open the first one. In this case, it's the Australian dollar. So again, sticking a little bit to, to what classic CFT analysis is, we've got uh, the commercial category here uh, represented with this red line. Uh, we've got large speculators in green, and we have small speculators on a separate scale chart in blue. The reason for that is they're not trading in such volumes as commercials or large speculators. So it's easier to see an extreme in their position if they're on a separate scale chart. So once again, I'd like to emphasize that this data that you see here is not a derivative of price. It, it looks very similar, right? Like an RSI, it's a, it's, it's, it's a strength indicator. However, it's really the breakdown of open interest. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's really showing you what traders are doing in the market and helps you better realize when there's a shift in the trend. And again, uh, this webinar is not uh, going to be showing too much examples over there, but I should point out that we have some very useful videos out that will guide you through the analysis process if you are interested in this more fundamental analysis uh, that is actually put into a more technical format. And we have a bunch of material here explaining to you what COT is and how you can best benefit from this uh, valuable data. Now to go back to the um, explanation here, 
uh, what is the ICOT intraday indicator. Now you'll understand the connection between the chart and the indicator. Uh, so this is the uh, ICOT uh, intraday indicator. And here you can see what type of signals the indicator offers. Let's name the green line speculators and the red line commercials so that we get a little bit of understanding and background. Um, when do we have an extreme? What do I mean by extreme? It means that we are measuring these scores in between uh, plus 100 and minus 100. And when we have an extreme in these um, lines, we get these signals. Speculator extremes, they are represented with the candlestick color changing, as you can see, to blue color. And when commercials are at an extreme, then the yellow diamond-like figure occurs if it's a sell signal above the candlestick, if it's a buy signal underneath the candlestick. You saw that on Jim's example. Um, and this is, again, this is the ICOT intraday indicator without after signal. So we're just getting there slowly, gradually. This is, by the way, gold on a one-minute candlestick chart. Okay, so we really have achieved that intraday uh, goal. Um, but let's move on. So we have commercial, we've got speculators and the balance line. I, I'm, I'm actually going to uh, go over this uh, quite fast. I don't really want to uh, put too much, I don't know, uh, extreme uh, pressure on you regarding you know all the little details, but... Uh, but rather show you what the after signal brings to the table, because that's the purpose of this, this, this whole webinar, is to show you uh, what the after signal can achieve. So as you can imagine, if we are in a trend, we will be receiving uh, a lot of signals in the opposite direction. So let's start off with the S&P. This is a 20-minute candlestick chart. We have, uh, this is a default setting. So out of the box, this is what you get. You don't have to change anything, okay? So really the examples are not, um, you know, anything sophisticated. Uh, you just open it up and there you go. So as you can see, uh, we are getting a bunch of readings. The highest, the strongest signal is stripe signal all the time. Before, if one were using the IC, which you should indicate without the after signal enhancements, uh, you had to really have that experience in order to tell what's the best timing to enter the trade. The after signal goes um, beyond that and, 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 and basically gives you that confirmation. So uh, we, we introduce this confirmation line and uh, let it help us enter the trade. And by the way, at the same time as we're entering the trade, we also give this guidance, the stop line. But by stop line, don't get me misunderstood. It doesn't mean you actually have to exit the trade. It's an intelligent, highly intelligent stop line. And the system will understand what's, what's the best time to exit that trade. As you can see, uh, this entire move, and let me point out, this is a, this is a recent example. This is from uh, January uh, 20th. Okay, so we we're not really <laughs> picking examples from years ago. We we're picking pretty much, you know, recent examples. And I'm going to go on to some uh, live examples later in this webinar too. No worries, we're going to get there. Uh, so this example really shows you the default setting where the signal and the indicator is coming. The indicator is set to show the strongest possible signal, in this case, stripe bullish signals. We're aiming only at Long trades. This may be. This could be because our uh, trade setup, our strategy, or other indicators are telling us, you know, what I'm interested in long opportunities here. And if that's the case, you can set your indicator, the ICOT intraday indicator, with after signal to be uh, focusing on buying opportunities. Of course, I will be showing you some examples of uh, bearish trades. Which, by the way, here we go. So the same chart uh, here showing you how we are getting out of a trade. This is a little bit earlier example. We have a bearish strike signal from the IC, which entered the indicator, and then the after signal in action, catching this move down. So this is, uh, once again, we're still on S&P. I presume most of you are trading the S&P. Uh, and we believe that the uh, intraday indicator is, is pretty uh, highly effective on 20-minute candles. So 
uh, this is a move here, an, uh, an opposite direction move. Okay, another example, this one's for crude oil. I'm sure a lot of you are uh, trading crude, which we're trying to bring you examples that are uh, commonly used. Here we have another great example of a stripe signal from the system and the after signal catching and entering the trade and taking you down, 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 down. Um, you can see that it is. it takes a bit of time uh, to get confirmed. But once the confirmation comes, you will get the signal and, and you will you will get into the trade and and and, and the stop end. We we by the way, uh, you can see that we don't necessarily have to have um, you know um, these examples. Sometimes you enter the trade and you exit very very fast, uh, and, and then we get the stripe signal. And you come you get back into the trade, right? So it's really a, a live example, a very common example. You're not pinpointing, uh, and you can really put this indicator on on most of the markets and, and get similar results. Let's move on to our next example. Um, here we have multiple stripe signals. Uh, and as you can see, the market stays up. So you, you enter the trade, you, you exit um, relatively close, uh, and then you get back into the trade and carry on uh, until the system tells you to get out. So, it's, there's a lot of settings, by the way. I'm not going to go into that for now, uh, but it's it's a highly um, valuable indicator, especially in, in, in the hands of experienced traders. But we do help you um, how to really learn and take advantage of, of this indicator. Moving on, let me show you another example. Again, sticking to crude oil, still the 20-minute candlestick chart, showing you a bullish example, we have a bullish stripe signal from the indicator. However, as you can see, we're not jumping into the trade right away. We are waiting for a confirmation to happen, which happens later on, a couple hours later. And there you go. Confirmation is given and you can see the market. And, and again, don't forget, we are using the concept of classic COT analysis. We are measuring stresses in the market. Uh, there's a lot of components in this indicator, all measuring the strength. Uh, and once we receive these huge signals uh, and the confirmation is given, the signal is going to appear. Okay. Another example, the S&P, back to the S&P, 20-minute candlestick chart. Again, we have a bullish stripe signal. And after a couple of candles, we get the confirmation. Boom, you enter and ride it along. Now one can say, well, hey, I'm getting bearish readings, right? So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's up to one system where you want to exit, but there's a default setting which will tell you when to exit the trade. Uh, and as you can see, we exit a little bit later. We pretty much catch a, quite a bit of this, this, this rise in the S&P. Um, so moving on, here we go. So here, uh, again, another example catching this, this, this big move in the S&P, uh, moving higher and higher and higher and exiting the trade. And this, this is still the uh, bullish, the long uh, setting. So we're taking signals from the indicator, but we're only focused on stripe signals. Don't forget from the beginning, uh, I was telling you that the strongest signals are when we have both speculators and commercials at an extreme at the same time. That's when we get these stripe signals. Now, you may say, hey, guys, we have this bearish stripe signal. Well, the next slide will actually show you how we can get uh, take advantage of that. So if we have the setting uh, strictly to a uh, bearish uh, setting, then you can see we actually catch that move down. Okay. So uh, let's move on. One second here. Okay. And here I'm going to show you another setting. So now we're going to broaden the ability of the indicator, not just stripe signals, but also any signal. So here you can see we have a stripe signal. After signal catches this move. But later on, we are catching this trade also with simply in a stress measured in speculators. 
Okay, you can see the candlestick changing color. And we catch that trade. And again, once again, the candlestick changing color. And by the way, you can see here we have a, a signal from the system, but after signal does not enter until the confirmation is given. Now let me just pause for a second. I, I, I can imagine that for some of you, maybe this is this could be a little bit much, uh, but bear in mind it's 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 just because it, it, it is new. Uh, it, it does take a little bit of time to get used to these signals uh, and how to best use them. Um, it, it does require a little bit of, 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 of practice, but I assure you, if, if you start using it, it's going to be uh, quite straightforward. So again, this is a, a simple speculator's extreme, catching it with the after signal and writing it down into the bottom over here. As you can see, it's basically a two days trade. Okay, and the next example still, we are having the any short settings, meaning any signal that is short, we are interested in that. Uh, here we have a stripe signal, but we do have some separate signals as well, and the system uh, enters this trade. And as you can see, this is an S&P uh, example from December, rides it along. Next signal, uh, another great example, simple, smaller, uh, speculators, extremes, and we are riding it down, 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 down. Now, the opposite side, of course, if you look here and we're interested, oh, well, can, we, can we catch this move upwards? Well, the good, the good news is you can. The good news is you can. If you have the, any long settings, you see we had this beautiful little marker over here from uh, commercials. What a wonderful, what a wonderful signal, guys. And confirmation is given, there you go, boom. Catch this huge entire move. So um, quite successful. Now, just a couple of examples for those who may be using different chart types. Uh, a Renko chart, here we have an example. You can see S&P. Uh, this is a Renko chart for those who may be using this type of setting. Uh, another one, uh, a tick chart, S&P. And the next one is a range chart. Okay, now, now comes the exciting part, and uh, I'd like to go over to slide examples. Okay, here we have the S and P twenty minute, as you uh, have been uh, witnessing. Uh, again, you can see this is a live example. Market is moving, and uh, you can see this uh, from January. 20th, how the system caught this entire move upwards. Okay, throughout the time, you, you, you can see what the indicator, the, the base, the foundation of this uh, is, is actually doing, right? So I'm not saying you can't trade these uh, signals separately, but we are focused on the after signal and uh, what, it, what it can do. Uh, if you want, you can, uh, of course, look at other time frames. So I'm gonna uh, show you and as, uh, this on a 10 minute uh, settings. Uh, here you can see how the 10 minute looks. Okay. Um, we have the stripe signal confirmed. We enter the trade and we ride it along. And let's roll back to see a couple more examples. This is, by the way, the settings where we are interested in both directions. So we have one of the indicators on, and it's it's really the default settings, guys. So nothing nothing has changed. Default setting showing you how well this uh, indicator can be used. And this is quite quite the conservative setting, by so it is it is quite the conservative setting. And, and let me point out, like for the example of this chart, you are getting a bunch of readings right from the indicator, and you're you're skipping all of them. So it's really the after signal. Pretty much filters out a bunch of these uh, signals for you. That's that's the advantage that it gives. A little example of a buy opportunity here. We have a short trade over there, a little bit short lipped, but nevertheless, it is a trade. Maybe a little bit better example over here. Uh, stripe signal still going up, still going up, still going up, and you get the cell signal, cell signal later. Um, 
I know some might ask, is this an indicator that can work in the really micro time frame? So for those, I am going to show you uh, what this can do in a 15 second candlestick chart, okay? This is gonna be a 15 second candlestick chart. Uh, here you can see on the right side, and this is a live example. So uh, as you can see, the market is moving. We have the stripe signal. We enter the trade. And there you go. Um, so I, I do believe uh, it's, and we, can, we can look back in time. Let me, let me just scroll over here. Uh, but bear in mind, we have on the left side, uh, the system set up for uh, short opportunities and, and the right side on, on uh, long opportunities, okay? So it just comes to show what, what, what the capabilities of this is. And again, very, very simple settings. You can see, for instance, here, this example, catching pretty much the entire move down, right? So not, not a bad indicator, I would say. I'm pretty, pretty proud of what we managed to put together over here. Um, how about going to, let's say, let me see, Ah, I got one. How about crude oil on a two-minute candlestick chart? Okay, let's have a look at the crude oil two-minute candlestick chart. Bring it back for you a little bit. So you can see we have caught a top over there. Um, catching the bottom. And bear in mind, again, we are talking about default settings here, okay? So um, I just want to show you a few examples here. Oh, what a wonderful one here. Yesterday, stripe signal, you get a confirmation, it takes you down. So it does, it, it just does come to show and prove that the indicator is highly effective on you much shorter time frame. And again, please don't forget that this is not just a, any indicator. We, we have put years and years into trying to develop something that mimics classic COT analysis or in that short time frame. This Australian dollar, as you can see, this is five years time horizon. And all these are one week. You can see here that we are talking about weekly data. Just imagine, just imagine the power here. We're taking it into the, the micro time. Same concept. I'd be interested in those who have been using the uh, classic COT analysis in their trading. What do you, what do you say? Please comment uh, if you can, because I'm super excited about it. Really, like really, this is this was our dream with Bond ten years ago. Just imagine we can get this into the the the, the, the real time, right? Like this, this is just simply amazing. Crude oil, two minutes. Just look at that strike signal taking you down. We get a buy signal. It's just it speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. There's not much I need to do. It's just let's just pause this for a moment and just look at it. And it's just a beauty. You get I I felt I fall in love. With it. <laughs> so really, uh, an amazing indicator, honestly. Um, and by the way, let me just show you something. So not only do we have a buy signal, just look at this for a second. So once again, it's an intelligent buy, uh, sorry, intelligent stop uh, level here. It's really just guiding you how long you should stay in the trade. You have to get out uh, if, we, if, we, if we catch it. Uh, and throughout this time, there's so many more opportunities. Look, look at that signal. What, what a beautiful um, um, commercial signal after that happened, right? So there's so many ways to take advantage of our indicator. It's just really unbelievable. Um, you know what? Let's have a look at the. Uh, let's just for a second look at it. One minute. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what it shows us. Oh, guys, look at that! Look at that! It's just a beautiful. It's just really a beautiful. amazing. One minute, Rudo working pretty well. Um, and one of my favorites, one of my favorite markets to trade. And don't forget, I'm a more of a, a swing trader guy, uh, more focused on the higher time frames. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open the silver for you. Silver market. Here we go. Back to the 20 minute candlestick chart. 
anybody who has been following this, look, look at this is just a, just a very recent example. Today, huge rise suddenly, you get a stripe signal, next bar, sell. So, I mean, really speaks to itself, right? Speaks for itself. So here you have on the right side, uh, the signal, um, both both of the, uh, the directions, the bullish directions and the bearish ones. Like, let me let me show you something. Uh, let's do some active uh, redesign over here. Okay, so let's just shift this over here. I want to show you something how I use the indicator um, many times. So right now we are going to go into these settings. Please don't be shocked. There's going to be a lot of things to change. But don't worry if you if you get this indicator. We do have a lot of videos, and we are here for you if you need any help to uh, set these. Um, so this is uh, the settings for the indicator, and this one is set for any short. Now, what happens if we say that we would like to add the indicator again? Okay, and this the second indicator is going to be set for any Lots. You can do that. You can do that. So by default, it's set for striping. Okay, so that's when you have one indicator, and it's going to focus on both directions: uh, stripe long or stripe short. Again, don't forget, stripe means these vertical lines. Uh, any means that it can be either a commercial signal, it could be a speculator signal. So we have an any short. So we're going to put in an any long. Okay, check that. Isn't that a beauty, right? Catching the bottom over here. So we have a lot of signals, of course. Again, you, you can choose what, what, which, which trades you're gonna take, uh, but it just comes to show how well, for instance, over here, you're getting buy signal after 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 buy signal. There you go. System said, you know what? This is the point. This is the point in time when you are actually going to take these signals into consideration and say, hey, let's get in. Let's get in, guys. Let's ride this move up. And by the way, throughout this time, we do get you know signals in between. You're still in the trade, right? It's it's really remarkable. And this, you know, I can find plenty of examples here as the market is headed higher. We get bearish signals after bearish signals after bearish signals, right? There's there's a bunch of signals, but you are eventually, if you use the indicator, you're going to catch this entire move. So really, once again, the after signal brings a filtering tool into the game. Okay. And uh, I mean, we can we can look at longer time frames. By so let's let's do that. So this is a four hour candlestick chart. I know probably most of you are interested in the intraday, but please accept my apologies. I do like uh, to swing trade and uh, just to show you how how you can actually benefit from a longer time frame. This is a four hour candlestick chart. Now some might be saying, well, hey, do um, you think this works on stocks? Let's have a look at it, guys. Let's have a look at Tesla. I'm sure, a bunch of you have been following Tesla. And why not open it on the indicator with the help of the indicator? And sorry, I see this is a few hours. I just want to show you. Uh, so, on the right side, we have the default setting. We are looking focused on bullish opportunities while the left side over here is actually set for bearish opportunities and guess what we have been in this trade since middle of last year okay so the system was already indicating bearish stress in the market in tesla since july august of last year now of course one might ask why is it uh, why, why do we look at the four hour? We believe because of 
stocks being open portion of the day, it's actually advantageous using these longer time frames. So again, I think this is one of the nicest examples for stocks. Uh, uh, a lot of you uh, sure have been trading Tesla regularly. Uh, and uh, pretty much the system caught the top here. And if you've been using the indicator, uh, you're, you, you basically wrote this down. And, and bear in mind, if you're also focused on buying opportunities, you may have caught this, uh, as you can see. Signal after signal after signal, as the market is going down, it says buy, 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 buy. But using the after signal will give you that advantage. When to get. I'm going to chime in here for just a second. Uh, sure. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, so there's a lot of questions coming in as to uh, where the the smart stops are. And it's going to be on a sell signal, on a on a short. It's going to be that red line that's that's fading down. Yes. And then on the uh, the buy side, if you're long, it's going to be that green line that's scaling up. So that's kind of the smart stop that's built in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And and we you know we call it stop. Uh, line, uh, but it really just you know tracks and, and holds your trade in place, right? It, it, it does uh, help you um, be in the trade. Now, again, this webinar we don't necessarily, or we weren't planning on going into specific uh, settings, but I will point out that if you want, you can set this stop line in different manners. So you can be, you can have it a little bit more uh, conservative. You can make it a little bit more dynamic. Uh, so there's a lot of ways to, to change the settings of the indicator to best match your trading style and strategy, okay? So don't get worried. These are not fixed. They're not burnt into the system. We do allow you a lot of modification, a lot of, uh, you know, personal <laughs> opinions, right? Uh, not only that, but you can actually uh, change certain settings um, uh, for how how many signals you would like to see, how, how conservative you want the, the stress, anal stress analysis to be. Um, yeah, Jim, I mean, if you have more questions, I'm, I'm actually not seeing a uh, chat right now. It's kind of more of a, uh, on a balance side right now, but uh, if you have any other questions. Yeah, let's, let's go through some. Uh, there are some questions coming in. So John, are the buy and sell yellow signals telling you when to exit your position? It sounds like that is the case. Can you Touch mm -hmm. on that. The yellow is the get out of the trade, right? Uh, no, actually not. The yellow, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So the yellow, and I'll, I'll come here back for just one second. And bear in mind, cotbase.com really is, so it should be your starting point. Okay. If, you, if you're new to any of our services, this is the starting point. Okay. Now we're talking about indicators. So there you go. The indicator is here. And of course, the ICOT intraday indicator. So if we come here, I can show you uh, once again. Um, what what these yellow diamonds are. So the yellow signals over here are actually commercial extremes, okay? They're commercial extremes. So we are commercials. We call the red line over here commercials, okay? And that's why I spent a little bit of time in the beginning uh, to explain to you classic COT analysis. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think he was asking on the trading view, it looks a little different where it was like the, the yellow, you see where that yellow flag is where it says buy. Oh, I'm is that sorry. the exit of the trade? Yes, then, yes, okay. yes, yes. Pardon okay. me. I thought That's you meant okay. yellow diamonds. Yes. Oh. So basically, uh, after signal not only helps you enter a trade, you see you have this stripe signal, you get the sell uh, signal here, it says sell. Mm -hmm. and while you are in the trade, it will tell you the very bottom when to get out. Obviously, the opposite of sell is buy. That's that's how you can see that you need to exit the trade. Okay, very cool. Yeah, and Terry was asking. So there's some instructional videos that come with. It sounds like you get you guys. Of course, yes, yes, that. absolutely. And you know what? It's really our, our little baby to say it. I, I love uh, talking about it. And if there's any questions, we we are pretty much here. 24-7 uh, uh, for any questions you may have. So we've got uh, some other questions that we can go through here. Um, it says, can you set alerts for the vertical stripes and the triangles? Yes, so like audible alerts. Yep. Good. Absolutely. Um, can your signal 
be automated through the strategy builder? I'm assuming it's probably closed code and you probably don't have the option to reference it in strategy builder. Are you familiar with that? Uh, it, it is actually possible. Okay. Uh, yeah. Very interesting. Okay, cool. Um, what else? What other questions you guys have? Feel free to keep them coming. I think it'd be good while we're waiting on more questions. Um, if we could check out, say, Euro dollar on a one minute and five minute chart, take sure. a look at what that looks like. Yeah, absolutely. And let me just, so once again, I personally would use both um, indicators. So I will set the top one to Stripe, pardon me, any long, and then the lower one will be in. This is a, a euro US dollar on a 20 minute candlestick chart. Mm -hmm. You want to see a uh, five minute? Yeah, let's go five minute. I think that's pretty, pretty common time frame for Forex. Not a bad, uh, not a bad uh, example here, catching the top with the stripe that you were here. Again, bear in mind, this is really a, a default setting. You can set the stop line to be a little bit uh, more dynamic. Mm -hmm. Catching the bottom over here. Cool. And you wanted one a minute? Yeah, let's do one minute. Sure. It's a little bit more dynamic, as you can see, getting a stripe signal at the bottom. Yeah. Not bad. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Let's look at um, ES on a one minute. Actually, so I just want to show you uh, oh, yeah. if we were to change this to strike long, you can see that it will be focused only on a stripe single. Pardon me, which market you want to look at? Uh, let's do ES on a one minute. Okay. There we go. That's yeah. ES. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't know, guys, I've been looking at this on a volume chart. You know, many of many of us, um, you know, here at Neural Street are using the 1300 volume on the MES. It looks good. It looks really good. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can use this tool. Uh, you can use it for confirmation of knowing that, you know, this is an area of interest and it's confirming as confluence with your other uh, signals that you're trading. You can use it as a higher time frame directional bias. So if this is our higher time frame and you see the buy at the lows and you know that uh, based on the higher time frame you'd be in a long trade, then you can look at only taking longs on your shorter time frame chart. Um, you can use it for that purpose. You can use it as a standalone system if you just want to trade the entries. Uh, they are good. Um, going back to the settings, I think there was a question about settings. They're going to give you some some uh, settings that that come with the tool. That you know the regular settings are great. Uh, you don't have to modify them. You would only do that if if you prefer based on what you're trading and if you want to see more signals, less signals, that sort of thing. Um, you know how responsive you want it to be. But as it is, I just loaded it on my chart and um, and it looks really great. So. You can also use it for stop placement. You know, if you're getting into a trade and you want to follow the stop line, you know, based on it showing you're in a trade too, uh, you can use it that way. So there's a lot of lot of different things that you can do with it. Uh, to me, it it works as a great confirmation of, you know, what the what signals that you're trading and trades that you're getting into. Uh, you see this as a confirmation that you know you're hitting the low and markets move in the other way. Then you know it's. Um, it's it's pretty robust. It's pretty pretty slick. So, um, so very cool. Yeah. Um, By the way, this is an, a real example. As you can see, the market is moving. So we get this stripe signal. You can see it in action. So we we still have not received a, a sell over here, right? So it's just like in live action, you can see what the after signal brings to the table. 
Mm-hmm. Like if you can really let it go and say, hey, you know what, I'll trust that we, we do need that confirmation in order to filter out unsuccessful signals throughout a trend, which, you know, it happens, obviously, there's, there's a reading, there's a stress building up in the market. And as it's building up, you're going to be getting these signals, signal after signal after signal. So as you can see, uh, just to show you an opposite direction, the way after signal can help and, and can be beneficial beneficial for you is, is just, you know, leaving these uh, signals out in the picture, right? It says, you know what, it's there, but forget it. We haven't received a confirmation. And as you can see, we're still in this uh, buy trade over here. So that's, that's really the essence of, of the after signal. Yeah. And with the blue line, there was a question about the blue line. That's kind of the signal line, isn't it? It's the confirmation. It's the yeah. confirmation. We need the market to, so, so for example, here you can see that uh, as the signal comes, we always start a new confirmation. Mm-hmm. And once that is breached and the market closes above, uh, we, we get the buy signal. And again, this is a default setting. It can be uh, changed if anyone wants. Uh, uh, it's it's really a robust system and 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 can be very flexible too. If that's some someone's uh, desire to 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 shift and change, it's possible. So, yep. very cool, very good. Um, yeah, this is good stuff. What other questions? Let's see. We got more coming in here. Uh, what is the setting for both long and short opportunities? If you want to show how to set that. Of course. Yeah. So if we were lazy and uh, you wanted just one indicator, so we have one now, I took the other one off. Uh, it's, it's very simple. So signal series is where you find uh, this settings. And if you want uh, both directions, you are going to choose uh, any. So Stripe any will mean that uh, we are focused on um, only Stripe signals in both directions, okay? So this is the Stripe any settings. You can see over here, if we go back, that we are actually, uh, you know, we have a short trade over here. Very cool. Uh, let's see, Anthony, good for cryptos. Uh, what about low liquidity pairs? Maybe given a specific example, is there a specific um, instrument you want to check out? Well, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna show you one that everybody loves to talk about. And I'm actually gonna switch over to a, a daily candlestick chart over here. And uh, I just want to show you something really remarkable over here. How about that? It's a daily. I know it's not a typical. This is an intraday yeah. indicator, but it actually caught that top Bitcoin sixty five thousand. There you go. Mm. Okay, so it, it works. It definitely works on crypto. Okay, um, mm. so we can take it into the shorter time frames as well if you want to. So, so. So yeah, pretty much any market, uh, the indicator can uh, help you. Um, obviously, there's some nuanced differences between market to market, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much opening any market you're telling me to open. And as you yeah. can see, the examples speak to themselves. So. Interesting. You're starting to get some buy orders on, uh, on Bitcoin <laughs> finally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, so we'll come back to this one for Alex. Can we show Renko bars? Um, maybe do that while we're answering questions. Um, um, can it be used on a prop trader account? Of course, absolutely. No reason you couldn't. Will it work with Ninja Mobile? I don't know of any Ninja Mobile. Um, I'll let you touch on that. Have you heard of that one? Ninja, anything mobile with Ninja? Um, Bonnie? Nope, 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 nope. We don't. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. anything mobile with Ninja. Um, yeah, we, have, yeah. We, we also haven't heard about Ninja Mobile. So, yeah, uh, yeah, this is great. Real time COT is is awesome. Does it work on micros? Of course, absolutely. Um, somebody asking for the pound dollar on a fifteen minute. Might as well pull it up. Mm-hmm. Do that. Um, all chart types and time frames, right? Any fractal, any bar type, it should work just fine, right? 
Yes. Perfect. So this is the 15 minutes candlestick chart on the British pound US dollar. That was the request. Yep. Looks okay, pretty slick to me. <laughs> Some good trading. Um, yeah, we probably won't go through through every instrument and all that, but let's take a look at CL. Let's do crude oil on, uh, let's do a three minute on crude. Let's do three okay. minute crude. Um, and it works on trading view and Ninja eight, right? Yeah. Um, very cool. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. People chiming in about there is a uh, new mobile Ninja trader eight. I guess we'll have to look at it. Oh, it's basically a VPS. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, trading view does work on mobile as well, for sure. Uh, yeah. So, so you could use okay. it on that for sure. Um, Cool. Yep. Crude oil, three minute. Nice sell signal there late afternoon. Yeah. Very nice. Just took out the entire range coming in before. Mm -hmm. Bottomed out all the way back down to the morning. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Nice opportunities. Um, Let's see, what else? So Jennifer's asking about licensing on Ninja and TradingView. We'll show you pricing in here in just a second. So hang tight there. And uh, licensing, we'll get to that in just a second. Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's look at Renko bars. Um, and then we should be good to go over pricing and all that. Um, I can pull up a chart on, yeah, uh, sure. on Ninja and show real quick, I suppose. Let me set this up on a Renko. So I'll share my screen and then we'll jump back. Sure. Okay, so this is a Renko 482 on Euro dollar. I've got a lot of chart colors and all that going on, but you can see there's a signal coming in right here. Pretty nice. When we came here, you could get a nice scalp off of that one. You got a signal here going long. I don't think I have to tell you how that trade went. Uh, yeah, there's there's some great opportunities on Renko, even especially. I almost I almost wonder uh, this could be a really great way to trade this, guys. Yeah, there's another buy signal, buy signal. This is all just from today on MES. This one you wouldn't have gotten too much out of, but you would have got enough to get a decent decent scalp or something if you're trading that. Um, but the thing of it is you can use this in a lot of different ways. Like if you see that we've got, you know, all these dots coming in and then it comes down further and all these dots and then we've got divergence and then it sets up the low and then lo and behold, it puts in a bottom and then slams off at once, twice, three times and you're getting a signal out of it. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, it's practically telling you exactly what to do and where to do it. Um, that seems like a game changer to me. I'm going to be, I'm going to be trading with this one. So pretty cool. Uh, we had one other suggestion or request. Let me go back here one more and let's look at, um, let's look at the MNQ. So we haven't looked at that one yet. Um, I'm going to load it up. It might take a second here, guys, to load. And then I'm going to change it over to a different time frame. And uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Uh, the alerts and all that, that's set in the settings. We're not going to go through settings and all that in this event, um, but there are um, there are settings videos and tutorials and stuff that they've got. So they'll, they'll cover you. So don't worry about it. Um, NQ is still loading, so bear with it. I might need to open a fresh chart. Give it a second to catch up here. You guys still with me? You can still hear me okay? I'm not like losing internet or something. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to do too much on the, uh, trying to do too much on the chart for NQ. Um, We'll come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and let them go through the rest of the details here, and then I'll I'll get the chart pulled up, and we'll look at some more.
Yeah. So let's jump back. I don't have uh, I don't have Renko's. I don't have Forex data on this, so I can't do that for you. And we're not going to look at every example. I think we've seen enough to see that this thing is pretty stinking powerful, uh, can do quite a bit. Any other questions that you have, of course, you can always uh, send to the team and they're they're obviously great and going to take great care of you and all that. So but let me turn it back over to Thomas and he can go over next steps and how you can get your hands on this.